Hello, welcome back to Charge 52. So I thought I would rate all the dinosaurs that were seen in the Jurassic series. Now, I've been a long-term fan of the Jurassic series. I even put in a donation to be in the movie of Dominion. Sad that I wasn't 18, so... Goddamn. So, first dinosaur is what has been nicknamed Stiggy. Now, I don't like that certain species of dinosaurs. Not the overall fan of it, so we're, we're probably going to just put it like C, being generous. Now, this is Baby Rexy, from, seen from Lost World. Now, it's very cute. The eye is very big. I think it's A. Now, this next one, I don't know. I think it may belong to the head of an Apatosaurus or a dinosaur we never saw. So, I'm just going to put it in D because we never saw it. Now, this is a Brachiosaurus. Or something. It was one of the big ones probably seen in Jurassic Park. So, I'm just going to rate them all. All the Brachiosaurus S because they're all the OGs. Just making sure we got them all. Okay. So, they would be the OGs. Uh, Confluent of Minus. It's small boy. She'll take the B. B. Now, I feel like the pterodons, or maybe the flying reptiles, are probably the most accurate, the most accurate thing in, or most scientifically accurate in the series, so that's probably just going to be a nice, that's an A tier. Even the Allosaurus, I think Allosaurus tended to be a bit bigger, I think they could have done a bit more with the skull, not make it like a friggin' spike coming out of it. But overall, I think it looks very accurate, so, and I do like the design. I want to say A tier. Now, I do not believe this is the Rex. No, because this is a different Rex. I think this is the Rex from Free. Yeah, I want to say Jurassic Park Free, just because it looks more animatronic-ish, kind of like that, so I want to say free, and free not being the best movie, kind of see, but still impressive that they're still using animatronics. Now, Blue. I feel like Blue almost carried Jurassic World until Dominion, because we rarely saw her in Dominion. Heck, for over time, you kind of saw less and less of the dinosaurs, so we're, we're, we're going to put B. She was cool. I don't like... Yeah. This pterodon, well, I understand they're different variants, but eh. Now, I, I don't, I'm pretty sure this Triceratops is coming from a game, one of the video games. Yeah, I want to say probably one of the video games, so, eh, B. Now, and Kylosaurus. I have a font. This is definitely, this is from Jurassic World Park 3, because on the one here is from Jurassic World, and you know, it's, it's all great. This one has a little bit of red on it. Which would probably be more realistic, like some dinosaurs may have had like uh, different colors around, but have like an overview color, so I think it's cool. The Ankylosaurus in the entire Jurassic franchise are very inaccurate. The spikes on their sides, they were never found. That would belong to like other species belonging to them, like Bore in Canada we have a uh, Boreopelta or Edmontonia, and they were more common found like that. Uh, Nostrosaurus, also known as a bull. Like, this is like the bull of the dinosaur species. I mean, you can notice with its horns. Very bull-like. So this one here would probably be a male. This one is a female. So I, I find it very nice that they add them into the series. There was that one short from Dinosaur Tractor where it was like a tiny little baby one. It was so cute. You just want to hug it. So I, I'd say that's an S-tier animals. Now, this is the raptor from... The original Jurassic Park, and I love the raptor because it showed how smart dinosaurs could be, so that's some S tier. Now, Cynicoceratops. It is actually very inaccurate. Like, even for the Jurassic Park franchise, it's making dinosaurs not fully, they still have what they basic look. Cynicoceratops is actually one of the most inaccurate ones, in my opinion. Its frill is inaccurate. The, the horn is probably the only most accurate thing there. It might have one singular horn, but I don't think it was that thick. It was usually a thin one. So because of the inaccuracy, I'm going to say C. Kind of belongs down there with Stiggy. 
Parasolophus is another fairly accurate species in the Jurassic franchise, so I think for that reason it's A. Uh, Central Ceratops, it's a cool dinosaur. I loved how they had that red face on it. And it looked menacing, like it was covered in blood. I liked it very much. I would say, I wish we got to see more of it. If we got to see more of it, I would rate it higher. But B is the closest thing I'll give it to. Now, these... So we have Stegosaurus and Raptor. Stegosaurus from Lost World and the two Raptors are both from Jurassic Park 3. So we're just going to do the Stegosaurus from Lost World first. Now, at the time, it was very accurate. So I think for that, I'm, I'm going to put it A... Like, I do prefer this design. It had a lot more going on over the one from Jurassic World. Uh, now the two raptors. I'm going to put this one because they actually showed it have a little bit of feathers. This one, not so much. Kind of less. Less creative. Kind of like the same color. This one, like, kind of had more going on. Yeah. Yeehee, baby, twike. It is adorable. For that reason, it is some um, S tier. It is adorable. It belongs up here. Now, I do like how they include Corphiosaurus as a new dinosaur. I thought that was very cool, because really, we only saw it during the Jurassic Parks, and the only Jurassic Park game we really saw it was, or movie, sorry, was, uh, I want to say Lost World, so that was very cool. I think overall color scheme could be a bit more Swampish like or plains like. Uh, the parasol offices from Jurassic World, you know, very similar to the one from Lost World. The colors were just a bit more on the, a bit more seen, bit brighter. Kit, I, I like it, but I did prefer Lost World more. The the Gallimimus, you know, they're, they're like big turkeys, so ash ash tier. The pterodon from Lost World? Eh. Now, the first hybrid of the tier list, the Indoraptor. I liked we I do like how we did do an Indoraptor. I thought it was very cool. I liked how Fallen Kingdom was going more for the horror approach of the second half of it. It was very cool. I liked it. Very menacing, scary creature. Can't believe that was going to be used by the military. Just think of that. America. America. We're friggin' dinosaurs. Just think of that. We will replace the dog. <laughs> so I think because of that, it should be rated pretty high in the A. I loved it. The Triceratops from Jurassic World. I'm, I'm more of an eh. I like the Triceratops, but I don't like this specific Triceratops. No, I know this picture is not the best picture, but we have another Allosaurus. So this one, if I remember from watching Little Rock, the short that they made, it definitely was much more accurate to the actual fossils. I think for that reason, it should be rated very high on this list. I'd like to say a nice, solid B. It's ahead of that one, of our Allosaurus. Woo! My brand. So not a lot of people know, but my... But uh, the profile pic that I have, or the multiple ones I've had, have all been based off of the Hypnocarno from the Isle. And more specifically, the current one I have is more based on the Isle than the Hypnocarno. So I love Cartonosaurus. It's one of my favorite carnivorous dinosaurs. For that, it deserves an S tier. Now, this one here... I don't know. I'm pretty sure this T-Rex is from Lost World. I actually... Lost World was uh, probably a good movie. It, it For me, personally, I would rate Jurassic World. You know, I'm going to make a video on that, so I'm not going to tell you, but Jurassic, Lost World was definitely one of my favorite of the Jurassic movies. So for that, it should be rated high on B. Now, I believe this is... I want to say Delta. Yeah, Delta. So, eh, kind of died early. Now, this is the OG T-Rex. OG Rexy. I know a lot of the Rexies from Jurassic Park. You see it again in Jurassic World. 
You see it again in Fallen Kingdom, and you see it again in Dominion. It's all the same. They're the same Rexy. Uh, Lost World and Jurassic Park 3 are actually different T-Rexes. But Park in the Free World, it's the same. It's all Rexy. Now, I don't know why we have yet another blue here. Wait, did I rate blue yet? Have I? Oh, well, God damn. Oh, no, we... Oh, no, that's Charlie. Oh. Oh, well, Blue's just going right next to him. Yeah, or her, sorry. No, the Indominus Rex? It, it really could have been much more on the creator, so we could have made him look so much scarier. Yes, it was already scary, but I think it could have been more scary. Like, the Indoraptor, really the only part you can see from the Indoraptor compared to the Indominus is the teeth, really. Indominus just seems more like a T-Rex combined with a Giganotosaurus. Is really all I see in it. I did like the Indominus. Low B, to be generous. Now, Spinosaurus. This is a creature that has been scientifically known in the paleontological world for this one being an inaccurate one. It used to look like a kangaroo back when it was first found, then the one we saw in Jurassic Park, and still see in the Jurassic series, but actually it believes now it was much more aquatic, had like a, kind of like a cool tail, kind of like a huge dinosaur version of a crocodile. And I really don't like how this guy killed the T-Rex, honestly. I do like they did them with a different approach. With like a Dylan, different villain. I thought that was cool though, so low A being extremely generous. Now, I don't know where this brack Oh, I wanna say this one's also from Lost World. B. Now, this is the same Rexy, just with battle scars at the end of Jurassic World, so not OG, but still OG. No, I do love the Ankylosaurus theme, because it show the Ankylosaurus uh, scene from the Jurassic World movie where Dominus fights that one Ankylosaur. It showed that even the tough, like, Ankylosaurus is known as the tank. Like, it is a tank in, in the dinosaur world. So I liked how they made, like, one of the strongest of the herbivore dinosaurs was able to be taken down. For that reason, high B, high B, high B, high B. Now, the Mosasaur. Mosasaur, I love the color, what they did with it, but Mosasaurs were ten times smaller than it. Like, they were really small. They were never that crocodilian look like. I understand that they probably mixed some bit of, like, an alligator or crocodile into it, but they were never that big. So I'm gonna put it. The you know I, I like it though, but B. Now this is baby Nostrosaurus, so this guy get weighted high next to his baby. Now I don't like the Demorphodons. Personally, I, I was not, I'm not a big fan of the general. So D. Now this T-Rex got tragically killed. It put up a fight for that reason. A hey, A. Hey, you know what? It deserves to be ahead. Of the uh, Spino, it's killer. Now we have Pachycephalosaurus. Like I said before, not a big fan of the head budding ones. The baby stick is showish. He's cute, so it deserves to be up to its baby brotherins. What if all three of them would taste like chicken? Now I, I like this raptor because it looks like a tiger, so it would really work with its environment. Now this one I believe is a puppet one, and I like the pup. I like puppet ones of the dinosaurs you see at the theme parks. I'm gonna rate it A. I love the Panasaurus fat. They still kept a lot of traditions from the original park series of keeping with the tradition of animatronics. For that, I'm gonna say B. The Gallimimus. Eh, wasn't a big fan of these ones. Now I love the Baryonyx that we saw in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I wish we got to see more of it. Not in Camp Cretaceous, I don't know, Netflix, but just in the movie itself. But the scene that they did with it was beautiful. It going into a cave with lava. The only problem I have is it burning in lava. It should, would be dead. Like, it hit shoulder or neck, so it would be dead. It would have burned through. 
I don't like this Parasolophosis. Now this Triceratops is C tier. It is the OG first time we saw it. Beautiful. Now I'm probably gonna do a lot more dinosaur, dinosaur, Pokemon stuff. They're like obsessions of mine. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe the video. Sub to me. Sub, sub, sub.